Since its launch in December 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has not only discovered an Earth-sized planet but has also focused on unraveling the history of the universe by locating obscure stars and planets. JWST has proven to be remarkably effective in its mission to investigate the potential for life on new planets. Recently, the telescope identified a potentially habitable Earth-sized planet, raising intriguing questions about how this discovery was made and what makes this planet a candidate for future human settlement. Join us as we explore how the James Webb Space Telescope has found this livable, Earth-like planet. The JWST stands as the most sophisticated telescope dedicated to studying our universe, equipped with high-resolution, highly sensitive instruments that allow it to observe objects that are very old, distant, or dim, beyond the capabilities of its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Utilizing infrared astronomy, the JWST conducts research across various fields of astronomy and cosmology. Its primary objectives include observing the first stars, the formation of the earliest galaxies, and detailed characterizations of potentially habitable exoplanets. In alignment with this mission, JWST has been instrumental in identifying several potentially habitable exoplanets, as we will delve into further in this video. One star that has garnered significant attention in the scientific community is WASP-96, a yellow dwarf star that has excited space enthusiasts due to its potential habitability for humans. Similar to our sun, WASP-96 is cooler and older, a fact that surprised many researchers upon discovering it lies approximately 1,150 light-years from Earth in the southern constellation of Phoenix. WASP-96 is known to host at least one exoplanet, with the most well-known being WASP-96b. Prior to its discovery in 2013, we had very little information about this star. The Wide Angle Search for Planets, WASP, is a global consortium of academic institutions collaborating to conduct an ultra-wide-angle search for exoplanets using transit photometry. This initiative employs various automated telescopes to monitor the sky's breadth and length simultaneously. The telescopes track thousands of stars within a visual magnitude range of approximately 7 to 13, using two operational observatories located in both hemispheres. The primary observatory, SuperWASP North, is situated at Roque de los Machachos Observatory on La Palma in the Canary Islands, while SuperWASP South is located at the South African Astronomical Observatory. WASP involves the Isaac Newton Group and six universities from the UK, utilizing advanced instruments for follow-up characterization via Doppler spectroscopy to determine exoplanet masses. Each observatory is equipped with eight 200mm f-1.8 lenses, allowing them to cover a vast field of view. These observatories continuously monitor the sky and capture images approximately once per minute, gathering about 100 gigabytes of data nightly. They use the transit method to measure the brightness of stars in each image, searching for small dips in brightness caused by larger planets passing in front of their parent stars. Among the notable exoplanets identified by WASP is WASP-96b, a gas giant with a mass 2.48 times that of Jupiter, orbiting its star at a distance of 4.53 astronomical units. The data from the WASP observatories revealed that this planet completes an orbit around its star every 3.4 days, making it approximately 1.12 light-years from us. The scientific community became aware of this planet's existence on October 20, 2013. The James Webb Space Telescope has since studied WASP-96b and has revealed the presence of water in its atmosphere. Moreover, JWST found evidence of clouds in the atmosphere of WASP-96b, a surprising discovery since it was initially thought to be cloud-free. This transformation in our understanding is largely thanks to the JWST's high-precision cameras. The distance at which WASP-96b orbits its star is about one-seventeenth of the distance between Mercury and the Sun. The detection of water on WASP-96b supports the notion that exoplanet enthusiasts may have been correct all along in believing there is a possibility of discovering an Earth 2.0 among these exoplanets. Beyond the excitement of this revelation, researchers face a significant question. How can water be found on such a hot planet like WASP-96b? To address this, we must delve into the history and science behind this fascinating planet. WASP-96b belongs to a class of exoplanets known as hot Jupiters, which are gas giants that orbit very close to their stars. 
Researchers believe these planets initially formed further out in their solar systems, where water was abundant, before migrating inward due to gravitational interactions with other planets or their host stars. This migration results in significant heating and tidal forces that alter their atmospheres and chemical compositions. The discovery of water in the atmosphere of WASP-96b has led scientists to speculate that it may retain some of its original icy materials from its formation. Another intriguing member of the WASP family of exoplanets is WASP-76b, also classified as a hot Jupiter. WASP-76b can be found in the constellation Pisces and orbits an intriguing its host star every one located approximately 0.033 astronomical units from its host star. This gas giant is significantly larger than Earth, with a mass around 2.92 times that of Jupiter. While it is not a candidate for human habitation, it raises fascinating possibilities about exoplanetary conditions. Discovered on October 21, 2013, WASP-76b is the only known planet in its system and boasts an estimated equilibrium temperature of about 2,190 K. The data on this exoplanet was gathered using the Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes. Observations revealed the presence of titanium oxide and trace amounts of water in its atmosphere. When astronomers analyzed high-resolution spectra of WASP-76b, they detected ionized elements such as lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, manganese, and iron in its atmosphere. Further studies in 2022 also identified barium. Researchers describe WASP-76b as predominantly dark and characterized by its thermal brightness. In addition to WASP-76b, other space programs like NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, have significantly advanced our understanding of exoplanets. Launched on April 18, 2018, TESS is designed to identify exoplanets using the transit method across a sky area 400 times larger than that covered by the renowned Kepler mission. TESS aims to discover about 1,250 transiting exoplanets orbiting designated stars, utilizing a set of wide-field cameras to survey approximately 85% of the sky. The telescope operates with four wide-angle telescopes and charge-coupled device, CCD detectors, sending observational data to Earth every 30 minutes. TESS's advancements have made it possible to study the mass, size, density, and orbits of a vast array of smaller planets, including a selection of rocky planets within their star's habitable zones. Additionally, TESS has simplified the work of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, by providing optimal targets for further characterization. Unlike the Kepler telescope and ground-based telescopes, which primarily identified larger exoplanets, TESS has helped uncover planets around distant stars that are often too faint for detailed examination. As of November 2022, TESS had detected 5,969 candidate exoplanets, with only 268 confirmed and 1,720 dismissed as false positives. Among the confirmed exoplanets, LHS 475b stands out. It orbits the red dwarf star LHS 475, situated 40.7 light years away in the Octans constellation. LHS 475b is the only known planet in its system and was initially discovered through test transit data before being confirmed by JWST. Scientists are particularly interested in LHS 475b because it is nearly identical in size to Earth, measuring almost 100% of Earth's diameter. However, it has a much higher temperature, with an equilibrium temperature of 586 K. If the planet has minimal atmosphere, its daytime temperature could reach approximately 748 K. Unlike many confirmed exoplanets, LHS 475b has a notably short orbital period, completing a revolution around its star in less than two days. It is likely tidally locked, meaning one side perpetually faces its star in constant daylight while the other side remains shrouded in darkness. LHS 475b holds a significant place in JWST's history as the first exoplanet to be confirmed by the telescope. Observations from JWST reveal that LHS 475b is a rocky world, and scientists were surprised by its unique atmospheric composition. This exoplanet orbits closer to its star than any other known planet in its system. JWST observed LHS 475b during two transits, each lasting 41 hours, 
providing 21 hours of observational data. Thanks to NASA's efforts in developing JWST, this telescope is currently the only known instrument capable of observing and characterizing the atmospheres of Earth-sized exoplanets. Preliminary analyses of LHS 475b's transmission spectrum suggest that its atmosphere may be predominantly composed of carbon dioxide. However, further precise measurements are needed to differentiate between a pure carbon dioxide atmosphere and one that lacks it. JWST has indicated that LHS 475b is a few degrees hotter than Earth, prompting the need for more exploration of this planet. The potential for habitability remains a topic of interest, especially if clouds are found on the planet, which would lead researchers to draw parallels with Venus's carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere. Additional observational data is expected soon, allowing scientists to confirm or refine their current hypotheses. The first Earth-sized exoplanet discovered by TESS is HD 2199749b, announced on April 15, 2019. This exoplanet orbits the orange main-sequence star HD 2199749, located in the Reticulum constellation.